to Parliament Tower. All right. Who was writing who? Who was writing this poem? Me? No. I hear an echo. Is it telling me that the echo is in here? Perhaps? Yes, it is. I think. No. No. Felt it. Stepping to the murder site, I'd felt it hanging in the air. A meaning, the violent emotion of the act, like a cloud of wrath. The dead eyes of the victim staring at something you couldn't see, and yet making you aware of it. Something that soaked into this place on a molecular level, overlapping with your meaningless existence. Regression to something you had managed to forget. Marking you. Taking you for a ride. Making you crazier. Did he get rid of it? Ah, uh, no, I didn't. <laughs> What the fuck ever, dude? So we can't go back. Basically, I tried. Exp I, I kind of touched on this a little bit in my uh, initial playthrough, my first playthrough, but as soon as you get through that collapsed tunnel section, literally there's no way for you to get back in here. So if you're missing anything that you need, like, you're fucked. You can't come back here. Uh, we don't need this, and I'm pretty sure I've already heard the echo before. If you guys really care that much about it, Fucking go back and watch my first playthrough for this. Hiya! Oh man. I wanted to come bursting through the door like a badass. Like a badass on speed. Don't do speed, kids. The station had changed. I was closer now. Closer how? Parliament Tower. Our home in New York. Was I really this close to being home? Going up to our apartment? Would I be home? Or was this just an echo of the real thing? Even then, the murder site had brought me one step closer to escape. Payphone at the edge of the plaza was ringing again. Hey, Alan. Thank God he picked up. I thought I lost you again. Who are you? Why are you helping me? Did you go deeper? To the overlap? Are you talking about the murder site? Yeah, I, I did. I, I... That's fantastic, Alan. We're closer to getting out. We're making progress. We would be if you would answer my damn questions. Last time we spoke, you were pretty worried about Alice. Did you ever check Parliament Tower? To make sure she really got out of the dark place? Well, of course she got out. That's why I'm here. That's the whole goddamn point. Be very careful, Alan. The dark presence is stealing from you. It can already manifest as your double. Scratch will come. Wait, wait, hello? That's dialogue that I feel like I also skipped out on my first time around. Because I was just beelining it for Parliament Tower. Cult writer. Maybe he was a victim. Writer. Maybe he was a writer. Maybe he was a victim. The cult using his words. Or maybe he was the monster behind it all. Either way, Alice Wake, his ex. She knew things. It was there in her art for all to see. 
a cry for help. The darkness she'd witnessed, and that put her in danger. Was Alice here? In the story? I felt her presence. It gave me strength to go on. Oh shit! That is definitely new. Set to go off when the door opens. This might be one of the trippiest fucking games I've ever played through. <laughs> Get out! Leave me alone! Alice! Alice! Alice. This is a photo of Scratch. How did Alice get this? Is he stalking her? This is the door to my study, where I wrote my books. The symbol wasn't here before. Huh. Oh, the spiral symbol? It's really trippy. I'm just gonna take a second to talk about this. It's really trippy. Both of these games, Alan Wake 1 and 2, are games that you have to play through at least more than, like, you have to play through at least two or three times. And I played through Alan Wake 1, was kind of confused about the story and then I played through it again was more interested in the story because certain things were becoming clearer and the same type of thing is happening to me in this game it's like now that I'm coming back with the knowledge of Alan Wake 1 I'm like seeing all this stuff this extra stuff that's just tripping me out like their apartment you know it looks almost like the old apartment Alice's video camera no memory card inside. Video art, okay. Here we go, part one. Part one. What was Alice working on? Brought out a 
that meaner side of him. One I didn't like. I set up a trip to see a doctor in Washington. I didn't tell him until we got there. We argued. Things went wrong. Penny was just gone. Drowned, allegedly. It's easy for people to think it was my fault. Hell, I do, too, sometimes. About six years ago, I started hearing noises in the night. Typewriter keys clacking. Voices. Alan was back. Haunting me. Then it got violent. It was Alan. And yet, it was a monster. He always did have anger in him. I set up cameras around the apartment with motion sensors and flashes. Now, when the monster comes, I turn it into art. My nightmares caught on film. And this is the focus of my new exhibition show people the world is so much darker than they ever knew. I'm calling this exhibit The Dark Place. Alice, Scratch was terrorizing her. Why? Forever I am 
fade into black Forever I am Circling back Just to fall into this trap This Let's recap what you've told us so far, Ellen. For the past 13 years, you've been trapped in a nightmare dimension called the Dark Place. Yeah. It's like New York, but it's not New York. And can be reached from the bottom of Cauldron Lake, but it's not really under the lake. And after all this time, you've managed to get out. Yeah, yeah. But so has your evil doppelganger. Mr. Scratch? Or is it the Dark Presence? Both. It's interchangeable. He's Scratch when he looks like me, but he can change into this other form. And Scratch, the Dark Presence, wants to rewrite the world in his own image. Which would be in your image, as he looks just like you. And turn the world into a fucking nightmare. During Deerfest, which is scheduled to take place in a couple of days. You got out of the dark place by writing a novel, the pages we've been finding but your double edited it into a horror story that's now changing reality, taking over people, yeah. making them crazy, bringing the dark place to Bright Falls. Yes, fiction coming in contact with the dark place can change reality. The story is coming true, soaking into everything, like, like, like darkness when, it, when night falls. But last time- it This will be back in 2010. Yes, last time it didn't happen all at once. The story came true bit by bit as it unfolded. And that dark presence was still bound to the lake. I stopped it before it got the ending it wanted. Before it broke free. Based on that, there's still time. Which brings us to your magical light switch. The clicker. Magical doesn't quite cover it. Scratch wants it to bring about his ending. That, that can't happen. If I can get the clicker, I can send him back to the dark place, make all this shit go away. Look, I know it's batshit crazy. My memory is, is full of holes and I, I'm not sure how much I can trust. It's like, it's like, it's like a half forgotten dream. Keep drinking that coffee in unison. Mr. Wake, Alan, we've seen our share of batshit crazy in the past 24 hours. What I want to know is, why am I? Why are we written into the story? I think I saw you. Or a vision of you in the dark place. I think you helped me reach out and escape somehow. With that in the story, Scratch would have edited it to get to you. To hurt you. We are all in danger. Let's keep talking to him. It's insane. And there's so much of it. Why not? Wait, hold on. Let's listen to dialogue. Have you ever heard of the cult of the tree? 
creepy bunch in the habit of wearing deer masks, performing murder rituals, victims turning into monsters possessed by darkness, possibly inspired by a horror story written by a certain author. Hmm? Ring any bells? Cult. Yes. Yes. They have the clicker. If the cult has the clicker, does that make them Scratch's followers? How are you so certain they even have the clicker? They could be working for Scratch. I don't remember. It's all confused. Alan, if I'm going to act on this information, you need to be honest with me. Yeah, of course. Is he confused? Or is he hiding something? Dude, she's picking up on something. Wake said the cult has the clicker. How does he know? The writer is the reader. The next chapter. The next chapter. The next chapter. Keep the pages safe, the dark shining of the words. Wake is hiding pages. That's how he knows the cult has the clicker. Wake has a double. Mr. Scratch. Where is he now? A cloud of wrath wears my face. The dark place in your place. Scratching out my body of work. Scratch is here. In Washington. He's hunting Wake. Scratch looks just like Wake. Why? Don't wake up the dreamer if your life is a dream. I swam to the shore, but the water is rising. Wake and Scratch are clearly connected. Maybe Scratch got out because Wake did. Or vice versa. What the hell? I'm like actually like really trying to think about this now. You know, I didn't think try to think about this too much when I first played the game because I was high as shit most of the time. And I'm high as shit right now, but yeah, I'm just like really trying to pay attention to the story now. Wake just gave us a lot of information, but this clicker seems like a good place to start. If we find that, then we find the cult. Okay. Uh, no. She's saying okay, okay for the wrong thing. Wait, the cult should be followers of Scratch, okay? Who's involved? No? Cult goal. Trail of the cults. The pages we've been finding are from a horror story called Return, written by Alan Wake, and the contents of this book are coming true. Why couldn't it have been a romance? Huh. <laughs> Word. Alright, let's see, um, fiction coming into contact with the dark place. Uh, alright. Wake, if we don't stop it, Scratch will use the story. Wake says the dark place can be accessed from the bottom of the lake. The overlap. How to enter. There's an entity inside the dark place called the, uh... Makes sense. Dark Presence. Damn, this is crazy. We're building a whole new plot board here. Inside a bright light. Uh, the form of Scratch, Dark Presence editing, 
Wake's story wants to turn the world into a fucking nightmare. Wake, if we don't stop it, Scratch will use the story. The Dark Place. A dimension that's home to monsters. <laughs> Wild stuff. Alright, that's for later. It looks like. Okay. Mr. Wake. I know you have more pages of the manuscript on you. You don't understand how vital these pages are. They're the only way I can know what's coming. You're not the only one trying to solve this. This is our job. Okay. Here. Now, this is all I have. Be careful with them. Inside the trailer, at the outskirts of Watery, Saga had seen Wake's fabled clicker for the first time in the hands of the cult of the tree. A cultist stared at her. She drew a weapon. Standing inside the trailer at the outskirts of Watery, Saga had seen Wake's fabled clicker for the first time in the hands of the cult of the tree. Her mind reeled from what the horror story was now claiming about her, her life, her past. She didn't accept it. She stepped out of the trailer. She needed air, but she wasn't alone. A cultist stared at her from behind a deer mask. She drew a weapon, shouted, ran after him. The cult of the tree has the clicker Wake told me about. They're a part of all this. I'm curious about this stuff. We need a lot more clues. Holy shit. For all this. Find evidence. Read manuscript. Okay. It's all on the page. The clicker. The cult. Okay. I'll head to Watery and find this trailer. Casey, you stay here and keep an eye on Mr. Wake. Got it. No, you need me there. No dice, pal. This is an FBI investigation, and I don't see a badge on that flannel. From now on, you can switch between Alan and Saga stories via the bucket in the janitor's break room. Feel free to play in whatever order you choose. Okay. Let's do that. I didn't know that they put you back here, but looks like now they're giving us the option to switch back and forth. I, di I did uh, Saga Story and continued with Saga Story at this point my first time around. Now we're going to continue with Alan and see if anything changes. had stopped me. I had seen the title page of another manuscript. Return. I didn't remember writing it, but it felt familiar. Important. I had to find it. I would write a new draft of initiation to reach Parliament Tower using another murder site. Scratch was reaching out from the dark place to get Alice. She was out, but still in danger. Welcome, 
welcome. Our guest tonight is Alan Wake. This time, we wanted to do something. I was back, and I hadn't died. forgotten. I artist. knew how this worked now. I could take Where control, from, no more surprises. What demons he wrestles with in the dark hours of the night. Together with our house band, the divine old gods of Asgard, we have created something very special. The song is called Herald of Darkness, but I like to call this next segment the story of the journey of Alan Wake, the musical. We just do what we always do. We'll chat, but instead of talking, we'll sing it. Oh my god, here we go, bro. This is one of my favorite parts of the whole game right here. Here we go. And sheltered with mama's pretty stories And your own made up fury And mama gave me a magic clicker Well yes, I think it's true and fair to say
more to it than meets the eye I never meant for it to ruin my life that way Would you say you lived a jaded life? Dark shades could never save the day So sad, but true Give me a sec to figure this out. Saying that they got all of this into a fucking video game, you know?
guys suck. Maybe if you were a little faster... So far, so good. I knew it. Alright. That was pretty good. A vision. Such a dark place am I trapped in here? Is this real? I cannot remember. There was a manuscript that held a key. A vicious I must not surrender to Echo seems to seek out Again and again Until I figure it out To bring this song to its end
And I thought this place couldn't get any stranger. Ati? Champion of fly. Catchy, right? Herald of darkness. Damn. This fucking game, dude. Really? Of course. They end the part right there. Some say that it moves forever this road That I lose you on every time Some say that it moves forever this road Back to Saga. I'm just kidding. No, we're not doing that. We're gonna keep going with Alan for at least one more part, I believe. It was all about me. This performance the Dark Place was putting on. But I had no control over it. I knew how utterly lost I was. The payphone was ringing again. The mystery caller was back at it. I had to find out more. Could I? Whoa! There's that famous temper. Lucky thing I'm not a paparazzi. You keep jerking me around, refusing to tell me who you are. You remember? You... Oh, fuck me. Alan, 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 listen, listen. Uh, tell me, how much do you remember? Did you visit Parliament Tower? Did you find anything there? Yeah. Alice? is in danger. Scratch is reaching out to her and there, there's another manuscript. Not initiation, return. I saw the title page. I, I don't remember writing it. Return? Oh man, this is what we're after. Scratch can't have it. Our, our survival, the survival of the fucking cosmic everything depends on this. 
Come to me. Ocean View Hotel. I left my room key for you. It's right there on the payphone. Remember, the dark place works in lobes and rituals. If the waves keep pushing you away, you just need to find another way in. We go with the flow of this ocean. Catch you soon, brother. The Ocean View Hotel. A suspicious invitation to a shady meeting. Right on the money for the hard-boiled genre the whole city was built upon. Alright, let me uh, just double check and see if I can find out where some echoes are. Not echoes, uh, words of power. The Ocean View Hotel. My destination. delivered me back to the street. What did the mystery caller said? If the waves keep pushing you away, you just need to find another way in. With only dream logic to lead me to the hotel, I look to the neon signs for guidance. The dark presence is out there. Uh, it's hunting me. Its spies are always watching. That's trying to catch me. I think it did. More than once. It's stealing from me. It's stealing my identity. It wants to be me. Replace me. Puts a version of me. Scratch. Mr. Scratch. It's slithering into the story. Once it's in the story, I have to use it to keep the story true. I got it. I have to make the story darker now. But that gives it power. That's bad. I don't want that. But I have no choice. It's an arms race. I right, keep it together. Be careful. I'll be the first one to cross the finish line. I have to beat the devil at his own game. The story I was building was fragile, constantly under attack. There was no time to waste. The Dark Presence was only a step behind me. Alright, back through the alleyway again. The alleyway of death. Six six
Alright. I think we got a supply box down here. Yes, we do. I know this game so well. You never forget. Well, maybe there are some things you forget, but, you know. You get my point. I know one of you is going to fucking try something. Fuck. I need to keep wasting, stop wasting flashlight batteries. Fuck, I'm hungry. Jesus Christ. This is not good. not a good execution. The, the combat is getting hard now. As I expected it to. Finally, they're giving us a challenge. Perfect. It's literally been like, what, like six hours? <laughs> of some of the easiest gaming in my life. I gotta start using that dodge button. Side. Of course not. That would have been too easy. I hear what sounds like an echo. Jeez, alright. Of lamp. Alright. 
right, cool. Okay, I'm back. I took a break, but I'm here again to play some more of this. I figured out which echo we were missing in the Caldera Street subway, and I tried to um, go back and basically reload the save, but I was unable to. Um, I also activated our DLC outfit, so Alan currently has the celebrity outfit on, if I could show my players, but he won't let me. Also, I got a new gun skin, so... Yeah, a little bit of a flex, but I guarantee you, like, not even one of you cares. Oh my god, dude! Are you fucking kidding me, man? I hate those fucking dark projectile attacks so much. God damn it. Alright, whatever. Let's go. I hear an echo nearby. I could see the Ocean View Hotel. I was getting close. Here we go. How's the memory doing? Sorry, who are you? Kidding. Good to see you, Tim. <laughs> yeah, I'd be going. Cozy place you got here. You know, your disappearance from Bright Falls is still the only thing that folks talk about. Well, that and Deerfest. Is this where you ended up back in 2010? You know about that? Well, I am the sheriff of Bright Falls. Or, I was. So Deerfest is still a thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's bigger than ever. You know, I got zapped here right before it was about to happen. Funny. Me too. Are you related to Sarah Breaker? She was the sheriff of Bright Falls back in 2010. Yeah, she's my cousin. I had a police sketch made of Dor based on my dreams. I sent it around and Sarah recognized the face from an old case file from the 80s. I moved out there to look into it and became sheriff after she left to join the feds. What was in the case file about Dorr? Not a lot of details in it. A local man named Moreland Dorr went missing near Cauldron Lake. Eyewitnesses claim he was struck by a bolt of lightning and just vanished. I never found any official records of a Moreland Dorr living in town or anywhere. Another dead end. right here. I want to figure out how to fucking get it, but I can't. I don't know what these are. These question marks. I mean, these are words of power here that we're missing out on. Trying to figure out how to trigger this, but I 
really have like no idea. Oh, here we go. This city will suck you dry if you stay here for too long. You'll end up a lost soul, haunting the streets and alleys. A faded out shadow, glimpsed by some other poor bastard on his way toward the same fate. Your broken dreams become a broken mirror, and the twisted reflection staring back at you with all the pent-up anger, regret, guilt, and shame was the monster you could never get away from. clears it out at that point. Yeah, it does. Pretty sure we need that light. Right? No, we need to do the opposite. Hiya! Lights affected where the door led to. Until you see the sun rise, somewhere where the sun still rises. Settling down, buying a house, fixing it up, building a life, finding someone. It's a fool's dream. It would all go bad. And having let hope in, it would be unbearably worse than this. You can take the man out of the city. But you can never take the city out of the man. Damn straight. What's gonna be in here now?